Welcome to our maternity unit. This DVD tells you about our maternity unit at Crosshouse Hospital. We hope this guided tour helps you feel better prepared for your stay with us. It should be noted that Ayrshire Maternity Unit is a no smoking unit. This DVD is in addition to the information which you should have received earlier in your pregnancy. If you haven't had time to read this information, please read it soon as you will need to know this before you come into the maternity unit to have your baby. When you come through the front door of the maternity unit, you will see the reception desk on your right. Depending on the time you arrive, there may or may not be a receptionist to help you. If there is no receptionist, you can use the telephone on the reception desk to tell us you have arrived. Departments are clearly signposted throughout the unit. The Maternity Outpatients Department is located on the ground floor, through the reception area, turn right, halfway down the corridor, after the ultrasound department. The service provided by this department includes telephone advice 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to both pregnant women and new mothers. You can get this service by calling the telephone number on your handheld record. When you phone, you'll be asked for your name and the hospital number Hello. that is on your handheld record. Hello, thank you. The midwife will give you advice. If she feels you require a visit from the community midwife, she will make the necessary arrangements, or she will ask you to attend the maternity unit. Please remember to bring your handheld record with you. Have you got some transport? Overnight, the front door of the maternity unit is locked, and therefore you'll be asked to use the back door. This is signposted. When you arrive, a full assessment will be undertaken. This will be similar to an antenatal clinic visit. The length of time you have to stay will depend on the reason for your attendance and could be anything between one hour and four hours. Refreshments are available in the department. You should come prepared with an overnight bag, just in case you need to be admitted. In addition to the service, the Maternity Outpatients Department provides care for women whose pregnancy isn't straightforward. If this is the case, you may need extra monitoring and tests. For example, you may be asked to attend the department if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, your baby is not growing well, or if you are expecting twins or even triplets. Coming to this department might reduce the need for you to be admitted to the maternity inpatient ward. The length of time you spend in the department will depend on the reason for your visit. Most visits can last up to two or three hours, particularly if we are waiting for your test results. There's a comfortable sitting room for you to relax in while you wait and hot drinks, juice and lunchtime sandwiches are available. If attending this department, we ask that only one person accompanies you during your visit. That means that if you have children, you'll need to make alternative arrangements for them. Now, let's move on to the Labour and Midwifery Suite. The Labour Suite and the Midwifery Suite were designed by women who have used the service and by many of the staff who work in it. The Midwifery Suite sits alongside the Labour Suite. Its homely atmosphere supports women who wish to labour and have their baby with little or no intervention. There's little medical equipment in view which enables women to labour as they would do in their own home. The rooms are all en suite and offer a range of birthing aids, for example, birthing balls, support bars and deep baths. The active birth room in the midwifery suite provides ample space for you to move around. Moving around during your labour and birth may help move labour along and might ease discomfort. You'll be encouraged to make use of the birth couch, gym ball, bean bags and mats that are provided. Water can offer excellent pain relief and relaxation and we have an inflatable pool if you wish to use water. 
However, we also have a dedicated pool room with a built-in deluxe pool. It's shaped so there's lots of space to allow freedom of movement during labour whilst offering the benefits of the buoyancy of water. You can discuss using the pool and the birth of your baby in water when you're doing your birth plan or when you're admitted in labour. Our attractive garden, off the sitting room, offers another private area to walk around in when in labour. In the sitting room itself, there is a pantry where you can make yourself a small snack. If you labour and have your baby in the midwifery suite, you're able to stay in the suite after the birth until you're ready to go home, which is around six hours after the birth of your baby. Otherwise, you and your baby will be transferred to the inpatient ward. Sometimes labour does not go as expected. If this happens, you'd be transferred to the adjoining labour suite. For example, if you decide you would like an epidural, or we need to monitor you and your baby more closely. The midwife caring for you in the midwifery suite may transfer with you and continue to care for you while you are in the labour suite. The labour suite is split up into three sections. The labour rooms which are all en suite, the high dependency unit and the operating theatre suite. All these areas are well furnished with all the necessary monitoring equipment for closer observation of you and your baby or for any assistance that may be needed during your birth. We also have a high dependency unit should complications during pregnancy or birth arise. Stays in this area are usually short and if you have had your baby and your baby as well, he or she will remain with you. The operating theatre suite has two dedicated maternity theatres and a recovery room with three beds. You'll be transferred here if you need a caesarean section or any other operation. Your birthing partner will be invited to attend the birth in the theatre unless you need to have a general anaesthetic. The inpatient ward is on the first floor and has single, double and four bedroom rooms, all of which are en suite. There's a pantry in each of the two sitting rooms where you can make yourself a small snack. If you experience problems during your pregnancy, you may be admitted to this ward for closer monitoring and investigations. You may also be asked to come into this ward in preparation for induction of labour or planned caesarean section. Unless the plan is to send you home from the midwifery suite, you and your baby will be transferred to the inpatient ward. Usually the length of time you stay in the inpatient ward depends on you and your baby's health needs. Most mothers and babies are discharged home by the second day after birth. Following your discharge from hospital, your community midwife will visit you at home to provide ongoing postnatal care. The community midwife will care for you until you're well enough to be discharged from midwifery care. The security of you and your baby is of prime importance to us, so we urge you to read the information that you should already have been given and where you will find detailed information on visiting and security arrangements. On the first floor, you will find a small shop run by the hospital volunteers. Here you can buy refreshments, snacks, magazines and toiletries. The other departments you and your baby may need are the ultrasound department and the neonatal unit. Firstly, let's look at the ultrasound department. By the time you're watching this DVD, an ultrasound scan of your baby will already have been taken in your pregnancy. However, the midwife or obstetrician may arrange for you to attend for further ultrasound scans if they think that that would be useful as part of your ongoing care. While the majority of ultrasound scans are done during pregnancy, on some occasions it is necessary to have a scan after the birth of your baby. The reason for this would be explained to you at the time. And finally, the neonatal unit. The neonatal unit provides specialist care for premature and sick babies. It is a relaxed, friendly unit with unlimited visiting for parents. 
This can be a stressful time for parents and the staff will continually provide you with reassurance, support and information to help you through this period. You'll also be encouraged to help look after your baby. For example, depending on your baby's condition, you may be able to feed or change your baby's nappy. Details of visiting arrangements for other family, friends or children can be found in the information you have already been given. We've now completed our tour and we hope that you've found this DVD helpful. If you have any further questions about anything discussed in this DVD, or if you have any suggestions or comments on how we can improve this DVD, please speak to your community midwife. Thank you for watching and best wishes for the rest of your pregnancy.